Hey y'all, welcome to Flame Tarot. Here to give y'all some more messages. All right, hopefully y'all been doing good out there. Uh, keeping cool, staying out the sun, or getting into the sun. Some of some y'all cities need to need some sunlight to dry up all that water. Uh, all right, let's see. Get some messages. All right, the star card came out. Aquarius energy. Also, something about water is significant as well too. Some sort of healing is taking place right now. If somebody wants to heal something. Also, you could be a star, so you could be healing. You could be a healing person, uh, or you could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Look at that, the strength card. It seems like you're very, you're a very strong healer. Or maybe your healing is very magical or so, something is strong about your energy. Or you have some, some, some sort of inner strength. Also, what you've been through as well, too, is, is uh, four pentacles on top of the deck. Something about you holding on to some, something of uh, value. Now, this could be like you valuing yourself, so you take care of yourself or you hold... Also, some sort of beauty regimen that you do is like secretive or something. Uh, but nevertheless, healing is here, um, or healing is taking taking place right now. Wow, the tower card. Wow, <laughs> something shocking is is going on. So I feel like you're healing. I, I'm getting a couple of messages. Your healing is very magical. It's very powerful. It can end some, some things, or uh, also I'm feeling like you have the ability to create towers by, this is like drastic change as well too. Uh, look at that, the moon card, wow, all these majors. Something, something is hidden that you do. Maybe it's like some sort of healing work that you do is, is healing. Whatever it is, it's breaking down walls and it's actually healing you. Uh, we got the world card and then the five of cups. Uh, well, the five of cups is, I think this is uh, like that. So five of cups is like after some sort of loss or something about healing the emotions as well too or ending uh, some sort of healing with someone possibly. Uh, or this could be the beginning of your healing as well, too. Maybe you're on the beginning of your healing journey. The Queen of Wands is underneath the deck. Uh, something about your beauty is here. Uh, also, somebody could be trying to, or somebody could be upset that you don't want to heal something with them. You just rather end it, possibly. Uh, Somebody could be in their emotions right now. Uh, the Queen of Cups. Wow, the Star card, and then the falling underneath the. I mean, the Queen of Cups falling underneath the Star card. This is like a powerful healer. Somebody is in tune with their emotions. Their emotional state is good. I just feel like they're emotionally well balanced as well too. This could be shocking someone. It could be shocked by somebody being uh, very intuitive. Somebody could be a my mother figure. Uh, also, something about your hair is here. Um, you can have long hair, or you can keep your hair up. Like some, something about your hair being hidden here, or uh, you could just you could be one of those women or people that just like different types of hairstyles for some reason. <laughs> but the Queen of Cups and the Star card is definitely some sort of healing energy is here. Like. You give love, it's like you uh, renew yourself or like some sort of love renewal Renewal is here or um, also I feel like you have a lot of self-love. The three of wands in reverse and then the ten of swords in reverse. Something about you not waiting uh, on something as well possibly. Uh, Look at that, the Ten of Cups. Wow. So I feel like after, this is like a rapid transformation. 
uh, somebody's healing themselves. Also, somebody's very happy as well, too, or happy with their family, happy with their life right now, happy the way things are going. Uh, something could have went sour uh, as well, too, with the family. But I feel like you're coming out of that. It's like you're healing yourself. It's like you're you're getting past these endings and you're putting all the love into yourself and this is making you happy. Look at that, the Ace of Cups underneath the deck. Yeah, some sort of newfound love that you have for yourself or uh, something like that. Uh, also the Five of Cups and then the Ten of Cups. It's like you gain some sort of, you gain by going through this lesson and healing yourself. Uh, it's what I'm also picking up. The Wheel of Fortune is here. It's like time keeps, time goes on. I'm getting that uh, Tupac sound, life goes on. Look, five of pentacles, that's another five. So it's like somebody is, uh, these came out together. So it's like you're moving, there's two fives back to back. So it's like uh, knowledge of, uh, well, it's, it's like <clears throat> moving past something that, that's not working out or there's something that's not emotionally fulfilling as well too, possibly. Look at that, the five of wands, moving past fighting and hurt and all of that, or like ending something that could have, that stressed you out or, uh, wow, look at that justice card. Wow, so something, Libra energy as well too. Libra, we have Capricorn energy. Your Capricorn could be considered the world since they ruled the material world, right? Uh, also the world is earth energy, so we just earth science, period. We have Justice, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius. Then we got the Ten of Cups, as I guess it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Scorpio, with, again, with the uh, Tower. Then we have Aquarius energy here. And then the Five of Pentacles, which is basically, it's basically everybody out here. But let's just focus on Aquarius, Earth Sign energy, and uh, Libra energy, and Scorpio energy. Something about fighting is here, or also something... Uh, something ended because uh, I don't know I guess I feel like justice is on your side or justice has, justice has been served in this situation as well too look at that the two of wands underneath the deck something about looking out for yourself is here too or um, wow look at that the moon card on top of the deck something is hidden that you're doing some sort of healing work is, is hidden also, th these could be like phases as well too, like moon phases, something significant about the full moon right now in Capricorn. So uh, I feel like some sort of healing is, is taking place or needs to be done right now during this moon, possibly this moon cycle. Uh, also, you need to pour out any sort of uh, standing water that may be, may be around your house. Those attract mosquitoes. Also, I see you pouring out, uh, pouring out things on your altar, maybe, or or throwing some things out, some sort of food or something like that, spoiled food or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. The five of wands again. So I, I feel like this is your protection. I feel like you protected yourself by healing something. It's like you you missed the tower because you decided to heal something or your, your emotions or something like that here. Or the tower could have hit, but you were already in your healing phase, maybe. Maybe that's it as well, too. You have one, two, you got three majors here. Let's see, let's clarify those. Um, let me use the stick. Two of needles, two of swords. It just talks about uh, decision and your impasse here and blindness. So I feel like you, you decided to heal yourself. Maybe that's why the tower hit someone else or this gets me this is somebody else as well too. This could be somebody else. Like you, just, you deciding to put all the energy back into yourself uh, is caused a major shift in your life. It caused you to review Possibly your emotional state and end things or something like that to heal things within yourself and ending in them and put the love and stuff back into yourself 
Look at that, the chariot card underneath the deck. Something about cancer energy or your emotions as well, too. This is determination and willpower and control. So I feel like you're in control right now, or you took control of your life when you decided to heal something. Uh, let's, let's get one for the tower card. Got the page of cups and the seven seven of needles seven of swords so it just talks about betrayal deception and something about being cunning or somebody being cunning and then the uh, page of cups uh, is curiosity imagination also uh like being uh what's that called just like the adventure card somebody wanting to work with someone so this is like somebody uh, doing something sneaky behind your back anyway and something ended possibly clearly something ended because the tower card is there so I feel like by you uh, choosing to to heal something or you deciding to heal something it's like you missed this tower of somebody trying to be sneaky and manipulative anyway so uh, you're on the right track you're definitely on the right track uh, the two of matches uh, let's see, in reverse, it's like the two of wands. It's like you looking after yourself or uh, you searching for a new place or also somebody could be looking you up. It's like you're, uh, it's almost like you're doing some sort of seeing or like you are you could be a seer. You could be a person that reads crystal balls or something like that or read water. We got the, the five of needles. Wow, this talks about distraction or uh, disagreement and surrenders and things like that. Self-serving. Five, five of needles right here on top of the world card. So I feel like it's like you you gave up uh, this situation. It's like you put your your swords down or something like that. Or like you, uh, it's like you disagree with something the way something is going almost it's like you just you gave up in this situation i don't know that's what i feel like you just gave up look at the, the five of cups underneath the deck wow that's another that's the same five so it's like something that's not emotionally fulfilling to you possibly all right let's let's give one for the will of fortune like the will of fortune here the king of needles it says law and order it says uh, discipline and authority Something about you taking control over your life or you taking control over a situation or you doing things the right way as well too or you being truthful about something. Uh, also something about traditions as well too could be significant. Um, four of, of matches underneath the dick. This talks about celebration. This is also the twin card flame. I mean the uh, twin flame card. <laughs> it says achievement and harmony as well too. Also, something about your business is well too. Maybe you're doing some sort of healing work on your business, or maybe you're healing your business. Look at that, the Six of Matches. This is uh, Six of Wands. This talks about something being in, in the public, or victory and success, or, or moving forward with something. It says a claim on there. So I feel like you're moving forward with something. That's just like you took charge. You took charge of your life to move in a different direction and to heal yourself, and that was the right thing to do. Uh, maybe that's why you're receiving justice. It says nine of buttons underneath the deck. It says self fulfillment, luxury, and cul culmination. All right, that's good. All right, let's let's get one for the justice card. Oh shit. Yeah, queen of Middle needles. Wow, this is the queen of swords. Clear clear mind, honest, and unbiased. Wow, the queen of swords or the queen of needles falling on top of the justice. This is definitely Libra energy, possibly. Somebody could be strong Libra. Uh, or uh, Taurus, I mean, not Taurus. Um, I don't know why I was say, gonna say Taurus Capricorn, but could be, but no, I was gonna say an air sign, basically. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, uh, and Aquarius. So something about air is still significant. Maybe you have a clear mind during this full moon or you're 
in a better space or something like that or like you know or like you have some sort of truth about something as well too is here or also your mind could be very clear because you healed yourself it's like you clear your energy so you're able to see things a little bit better six of buttons underneath the decks which is the six of uh pentacles it says generosity sharing and charity is here something about an equal give and take or something about getting what you uh, put out there as well to getting what you deserve it's like your work or something is coming back to you i feel like that this is coming back to you while on top of the deck it says uh, the unknown it says divine path openness and curiosity wow uh something about the unknown is here as well too so uh i feel like maybe because you're on this healing path that's kind of like the moon energy the unknown in a little in some ways i just feel like uh first of all i feel like you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to i feel like um, anything that you put your power and energy into will come true uh so that's why the unknown is here but it's, it's, it's like it's up to you to decide what path you want to go or where you want to go from here or something like that also something could be hidden because they don't want us to know you know uh, that could be something as well, too. Okay, let's see. Let's get one of these. Let's see. All right, we got delusion is here. It says, intention without surrender could be a fast path, a fast, fast path to delusion. So we have delusion is here. So we have loss. It says sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos. So yeah, something about losing here or taking some sort of loss, some, some sort of ails are here. Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't know if I'm gonna get that bit. <laughs> Expensiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. All right, then we got your path. It says, Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. Wow, this is crazy. Look at that. This is like having the faith to be guided even though you don't know what's next. I think that's powerful. So, yeah, I think you're strong for doing that shit. Uh, something about your faith is here and your intuition. It says each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. Something about your heart chakra as well, too, it says right action. And then on top of the deck, it says self-love. It says lift the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. Yeah, I feel like this is what you're doing. You're putting the love back into yourself or to, into, uh, or it's like you're healing yourself or something like that is here. Um, let's see. Get an angel message. Oh, they said get this other deck first. energy we got the the fifth house leo energy this is the uh house of pleasure it says romance children leisure and fun is here so something about with the trust of a child or fun romance uh, making art and being dramatic or doing something something dramatically is here then we have scorpio energy 
energy, Pluto energy, it's death and rebirth energy. Uh, also, the eighth house, deeply intimate, relating to sexuality, inheritance, or investments as well, too. Then we got Cancer, uh, we have Jupiter, which is Cancer Pisces energy. It's talking about learning or teaching or being positive about something and growing and expanding as well, too. Uh, then we have uh, Neptune, which is Pisces energy, the planet of magic. Uh, Pisces energy could be the 12th house. It says deep emotions, secrets, and a division between reality and fantasy. Something about you breaking out the matrix. I, I don't know. I just feel like you, you broke out the matrix or something like that. Or... Um, yeah, it's like a, a rebirth or something. Uh, also, it says Virgo. It says methods for the healing power in analyzing something, the results from uh, the perfectionism of something. So Virgo, Virgo energies, the sixth house, daily work in health matters and including habits and their efforts are here. Uh, also, let's see what's on top of the deck. It says Taurus energy. It says uh, resources to maintain, practicality of resulting from the productivity of. Damn, that's the same damn thing almost. Uh, Venus energy, Taurus energy is here. Um, this also could be talking about the second house, which is matters, uh, material matters, such as money and belongings as well, too, is here. All right, let's see. We're gonna get one of these messages, y'all. Let's see what the angels got to say. Archangel Chamayel, it says, open your heart. Thank you, Chamayel, for removing the barriers around my heart. Something about your heart chakra is significant. Yeah, something about your heart is here. Look and your intuition. Yeah, something like that is here. Trusting that your heart will guide you in the right place. Uh, Archangel Jeremiah, it says the miracle of forgiveness. Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Then we have uh, Azrael, change and transition, wow. Thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely uh, through this change. Wow. Definitely change and transition are here. Uh, this, this is like crowning the reading right now. I just feel like change and transition, my bad. I had to read that again. Something about changing is here. Transitioning to a new level of healing or something like that, maybe. Also, three men could be significant. We got a black man, we got a really super white man, and then we have a <laughs> a yellow man, I guess. <laughs> also, the sons of Abraham could be here. Father Abraham had many sons. Had many sons had Father Abraham. It says, honor your feelings. Our, uh, Archangel Hanayo. Thank you, Hanayo, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. All right. Something about your emotional state is here as well, too. It's like being emotionally balanced or something like that. Or the power to heal yourself after some sort of ending. Uh, yeah. Rebirth and stuff like that are here. All right. Let's get, let's get one of these. <clears throat> it says what a, what does happiness mean to me and then it says am I focused more on what my life looks like than what it feels like am I looking according to the expectations and dreams of others or of my own how do I distinguish them from each other you have to get out and heal. That's how I feel like you gotta detach from people and start realizing what are your own emotions, you know? 
stop dealing and picking up uh, I can't say stop picking up people's emotions but stop taking them on as your own basically it says what is what is my life like when it is in balance wow it's a lot of green here it says what kinds of feelings am I feeling right now what kinds of metaphors can I find to describe my feelings And then on top of it, it says, what is the most important thing for me in this moment? Hmm. Those are some things for y'all to think about. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see y'all next time. All right.